Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Sipu Boggy. But before that, I would like to say thank you so much for watching this show live or at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, hypnosis, angel cards, to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny and their reason for being here. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guide to meditation or angel card reading, with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Sipu Boggy, who will be sharing his insights and wisdom as to how we can find balance in 2020. Now, Sifu he teaches Dragon Dong Shaman Reiki, which downloads spiritual energy, awakening dormant abilities, as well as Qigong and self-healing techniques to balance health and well-being and to create and enhance longevity. He also helps healers like workers and coaches supercharge themselves and ensure they never burn out using everything he has learned in the past 36 years or so. He is a wonderful, friendly and unique guide who has his own Tao and encourages others to find their own Tao. Now, Sifu has several online classes and free podcasts, including his own show called The Way of, Con of, the Way of Mindful Consciousness, which is an eclectic mix of fascinating subjects and guests. Now, with testimonials such as his method of relaying information is uplifting, engaging, full of puckish humour, and I find it's a joy-filled experience participating as a student during his live Facebook sessions, as he is unfailingly gentle, thoughtful and considerate. And he is an experienced healer with tools that develop and heal your energy centres to the body. He helped me with it all. So without further delay, we've got to say hello, Sifu, and welcome back to the Angels and Destiny show. You look great without your beard. So how are you today? I, I, I'm good. So cool. Blimey. Who, who, who did I pay for those recommendations? No. Blimey, is that? <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I'm good. Yes, it's uh, I, I, I did. A, I actually there's a, a video out where I do one of those apps where you had. Like, I saw that. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I thought, yeah, I thought I'd do that way for real, real way. It was time to go Cheryl in again, but um, yeah, but I've gone clean shaven as well for a change. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's all good. Uh, getting ready for Christmas, it is a coming, and um, and then the and then the new year, and and yeah, it's it's all very interesting. I've got to say so. Uh, <laughs> Well, you look you look good for it anyway. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I said uh, I said you. Well, what the reason I had a beard for a long time was that originally I was like this, um, and I would say, oh, you know, I've been practicing for twenty eight years at the time, and people say, you know, we go, what you practiced when you were like two, and it's like, no, I'm older than, and, and it's like I'm actually fifty, I'm fifty next year, and so thirty seven, because because I get it now, I say thirty seven years practice. Well, well, that doesn't make sense. When did you start when you were five? Well, actually. In China, you do get people starting at five years, just like mm. if like in, in Canada with skating, you know, they, they start them as soon as they can walk, you get put them on the ice. Um, so yeah, people have started that young. I actually started when I was 12 years old. Um, but um, but yes, the what is this is what's called the Taoist proof is that you know it's meant to allow you to have longevity, um, and make you look younger than you are and uh give you um boundless energy hence why my, my thing is about supercharging people um and yeah you know it it you know the whole point whole point qigong isn't a thing you do it's a it's a way of being it's the way you become a bit like with the reiki as well and the whole essence of i do them both together because you know me and my props um you know the, the, that qigong and tai chi is a bit like is a bit like yin and yang. This this becomes tai chi or uh, chi, sorry qigong and reiki is a bit like yin and yang. Is that yeah. in in the east um, when you learn reiki you do qigong, 
it's a bit like like uh, old Luke Skywalker, you know, was on his head lifting up rocks. That's his qigong. You built up the energy is that you didn't do Reiki without an exercise to build up the energy. So even in Japan, it's called qigong, um, and but they do energizing exercises to build up. Now again in 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 the east is that when you do qigong there's a thing called shun qi shen which is like spiritual it's, it's a bit like updates like you know on your app you know you have your app and you have to every week or every now and again you have to do you know do a new update well in qigong is that when you learn qigong you learn an exercise and qigong means energizing exercise so you learn an exercise and then at some point once you've learned it your your seafood would then blast it with blast you with energy and the the sort of quantum physics spooky molder sort of or, or woo woo people probably won't remember molder as in x <laughs> <But, laughs> um, yeah, yeah. well, well, i am 50 um you know the the the, the whole woo woo thing is that in the eastern philosophy every time at first the qigong is like a symbol is like symbols all any symbol is actually a is a 2d representation of a vibra a vibratory energy you know a, a a 5d energy and that's what people so when people look at symbols what they don't realize is there's actually frequency in there and it's actually meant to be you know it's meant to be a, a 3d shape it's meant to be multi uh, layers so um that was the thing with reiki is that when in the reiki it was never the, the symbols were were the, the the symbols were a little bit like a tuning fork and and the whole point was is that is that the practice of the med meditating or in qigong if the qigong is a tuning fork that is what you're actually looking for the tone and that tone is the feeling when you do meditation or, or reiki or qigong and you feel that energy inside that's actually the real thing that's what you're looking for the the meditation or the chanting or the symbol or the qigong are the metaphor to get you to that point it's like a finger pointing but hey what do i know yeah love that that that's pretty cool now obviously um if you're watching this live or at a later date please do um hit the like love button share this video out i'm sure there's a lot more um women out there who would like to um know more about what's going on and uh, joining the com and joining the conversation so sifu finding balance in 2020 obviously 2020 is going to be a big year for everyone and it's probably going to be really busy and fast and fast going so how how will people find their balance in 2020 i i think i i've been sort of talking about well i've been talking about balance all of this this year and the whole again the the, the whole thing of this what this symbolizes mm. the yin and we call it yin yang the yin yang would actually be half half of like these this is red red and yellow so it'd be half a red circle and half a yellow circle and that's what we were we were this oh you know people talk about the divine feminine and uh, as a female divine masculine as a male no but divine feminine is an energy it's a it's a characteristic it's a quality inside you hi eva um and um she's one of my students um and um and and you know the, the the so the biggest thing when people are talking about oh you know you know these masculine or feminine energies is like no they're actually both inside you that feminine is the nurturing energy the, the divine feminine is the nurturing the loving is the maintaining things keeping it going the the masculine energy is that action is the, is the actual starting things off or creating things or you know standing up for yourself and you're meant to be both you're meant to have both qualities you're, you're meant to have them and also you're meant to have the third one which very people don't realize that this is slightly controversial but but in original christianity it wasn't the father the son and the holy spirit it was the father the mother and the, and the child mm. the sacred child and within in taoism the you have kuan yin who's also in buddhism and, and can be seen as mother mary energy so that's the divine feminine and you have general kuan who is also in the west would be seen as as archangel metatron um and it is the masculine energy but the masculine energy the spiritual warrior doesn't cause fights the spiritual warrior protects and it protects the divine feminine 
the divine masculine and the sacred child christy hello christy how you Hi, doing christy. um and um the and that sacred child energy is the third the third thing you've got this feminine energy this masculine energy so you've got that energy of of looking after yourself and again uh, of old for lots of spiritual people is this thing of oh looking after yourself is selfish no not looking after yourself is selfish yeah. it's that Taoist in the, the Taoist quality to talk about 51 percent is that f you should maintain you should look after yourself 51 percent and then the next 49 percent you help other people now that 51 percent actually means you stay youthful you stay energized and then you can do 49 percent until the cows come home and, and people do it the wrong way around so you know some people will, will do 51 percent of trying to help other people but then wonder why they end up ill or you know burn out and and you've only got to look at the old cycle you know you see people giving and giving and giving and then then they can't give anymore and Taoistically that's considered selfish because you're not maintain you know the the whole um thing of um your body you know your body is sacred your body is a temple and it, if it's a temple why aren't you looking after it yeah. why aren't you maintaining your your temple the, and the, and as spiritual people our mission is to look after ourselves to look after everybody else too you can't do service to others without doing a service to self that's yeah. the biggest a misunderstanding is that and and that's the biggest for me one of the things of 2020 is um is this understanding of balance understanding you have to look up to yourself so the divine feminine is actually that nurturing of self the divine masculine is therefore then the action of being able to help others and it's the balance of the two the sacred child is that ability to actually remember to never take yourself or anything else too seriously and have fun in life, you know, and enjoy it. You're meant to, you're meant to freaking enjoy this life, you know, and that, and that's the point. And, and so even in, and again, in the whole spiritual, you get these people taking very, very seriously. And it's like, yeah. you're missing the freaking point. I've got yeah. a hammer. I hit you with it. Um, <laughs> you know, you have to, you know, you're meant to have fun. You're, you know the problem. The problem is, I think people forget is that when we were children and, and you know we would play and 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 you know we had imagination and we got told stop talking to imaginary friends. They're not imaginary friends. No, we were talking to spirit when we were toddlers. We were talking to spirit. That, that babbling that we did and and I that babbling that we did as babies. Most babies are talking to spirit because I can mm. feel the connection. I can feel the energy. Yeah. And and the interesting thing when I, through my teaching, is that when you then learn that in FT500 index businesses, so the, the, the top 500 index financial times index businesses, and the, the 100 actually use empaths, actually use psychics. Uh, Yuri Geller was at, was back in the 90s, was paid anything from £10,000 uh, to £100,000 to find oil, water, diamonds, yeah, and, pet, and petrol. And yeah, every, oh, well, he's, just, he's, he's a spoon bender, and oh, you know, yeah. he, he's a fake. He's not fake at all. I, I know that for a fact because I actually looked after him a few times for certain people. And and the and and when you actually got to like I say my teachers were worked in diplomatic circles and my teachers taught empaths and psychics and remote viewers and these sort of you know these sort of people and taught them for business and taught them for for you know not just military but taught them for business as well. And 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 there's 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 this big thing in the world of publicly oh this doesn't exist all oh, this is rubbish this is this and then behind closed doors they've been using psychics and mediums mm. for, for, for hundreds of thousands of years but not t telling them yeah. t letting the public think it's naughty now the great thing with science and this is why in the old days i used to get a lot of haters uh on my show um originally and 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 you know so you got no proof hold up Science, science, <laughs> science, more science. Yeah, I love um, science. And, 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 you know, I'm great. I love quantum physics because especially quantum physics is up to the point where it's proving the ancient knowledge that, you know, we've had, oh, I think 50, 
is it 40 years? 40 years you have the Carillion camera, which, which sees the Meridians, uh, sorry, sees the Auras, and then it was retuned again, and now it sees Chakras. The, there was a, there was a bioelectric the biomagnetic um, channels were, were discovered by uh, um, another set of Russians back here about 15, 20 years ago, which is the meridians. They got the they, they found the bioelectrical field of the heart, which is the Torah field, and within the fabric of space itself, um, you have physicists that have actually found the Merkaba. Um, uh, that's saying that the Merkaba itself is the fabric of space, and it's only it won't be long before they find that the Merkaba exists within us. And the ancient, especially what my teachers taught, is that all these systems are not separate. They're all part of the same yeah. system, where some people say, oh, oh, it's chakras, that will take you to, to, to bliss. Oh, no, no, it's meridians, that will take you to bliss. My teachers always said, the meridians, the chakras, the aura, the Merkaba, the Torah field, um, the Dantians are just like your bones and blood vessels and yeah. tissues and they're just different layers um and you know i obviously as you can tell i love this stuff and i've studied this stuff and it doesn't mean you have to study but just being aware mm. that they exist in your body um but the people like the great bruce lipton is that just being aware of stuff and you know knowing that your body is actually affected um by your mood but but and and so if you focus on being happy you're more you're actually increase you, you um in, increase your immune system you'll yeah. get stronger so just knowing that sort of stuff knowing that the placebo effect the opposite to the placebo effect the placebo effect is is that if you have an illness and they give you a, a the test subjects they have test subjects that take sugar tablets and they found the people that were on the sugar tablets who believed they were taking the real thing 60 percent of them actually got better to cure them themselves of the illness now there's an opposite to that called nocebo effect. And the nocebo effect is that they took the real medicine, but they believed either that it was fake or they believed it wouldn't work. Okay. And and the nocebo effect, and this is clinical uh, case studies on this, nocebo effect, also found 60% of people who believed it wasn't going to work actually got ill or worse. So whether you do or whether you don't believe, it affects you the same way. Is that it, it can affect it can affect you. So if you believe in it, it it can work. If yeah. you don't believe in it, it won't work. But so when what makes me laugh is when people say, "Oh, faith, you have to believe in it for it to work." And like, do you understand what you're saying? Mm. You know that you can keep, you can heal yourself. You can heal yourself, and you're poo pooing it like it's oh that that that, that it, it you know that means it's not special. Yeah. We have far more power than we choose to believe. And then I just want to throw this in as well. Mm. Um, so, so, you know, and a lot of people sort of talk about, oh, you know, like the fairies and angels and all of that. When you've spoken to, let's just call them the alphabet agencies of, of the States and, and five or six, and, and you get pe you get these top, top people, these top government people say, oh yeah, we, we, we know that, um, uh, fairies, unicorns, uh, uh, and Sasquatch exist. They're other dimensional beings, and when the energies, uh, when 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 the in certain areas they come through into our dimension, um, and when you hear that, it's like, whoa, what? And and it, and it's the whole point of you know is that again it goes back to that lots of information that we our society for for whatever reason has pooed it for a long long time. Yeah. But now it's coming forward, and even NASA was saying that well, there is there is this wave of energy. There's this um, we call it the age of Aquarius uh, here here in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, or you know you you call it the Golden Age. There is an energy field that NASA actually calls it. The, there's a co cos cosmic dust storm or cosmic energy storm that our solar system entered in 2010, and we were fully in by 2012. Hence, the Mayan prophecy was the end. It wasn't the end of the world. Because the one thing the press forgot to tell you was there's another nine calendars after that one. That's right. um, so, so, so how can it be the end of the world? Yeah. Uh, indeed, anything is possible. Um, and and we've and we so in 2012 we entered this energy. And what this energy is doing, this dust cloud, is that every single atom is being vibrated at a higher level. 
we're made of atoms and and have you noticed like your show my show 10 years ago we would struggle to exist yeah. 20 years ago we definitely we'd be called nutcases oh, God, yeah. more and more people are waking up more and more people were starting to go actually um you know either i i believe in fairies or believe in this or believe in that or i'm interested i want to learn more hmm. and things are changing things are evolving and and every single year from now on every single year it's going to get bigger and bigger and this energy the ancient one said that when this waves happens the lighter will get lighter the darker will get darker the confused will be more confused and the crazy will be more crazy until you until you find your own Tao, your own balance in tai chi so this like we call it you know clearing um uh, uh the old um i forgot the word Cle you know clearing energies or you know sort of yeah. sort um sorting out the dark stuff i forgot the word um but um the, the whole point until you've done the work in yourself is that and if you notice that more people you know the, the the you know the, there are more crazy people about there are the darker people seem to be more miserable and the lighter mm. people seem to be more lighter and it's these waves of energy that the, our galaxy um has all the, the, there's a field this storm cloud within our galaxy and our solar system pushing for it just like a boat pushing through uh, a, a storm or, or or a rough sea and we're going deeper deeper into it and it's affecting us more and more and so it's that if you don't find your balance, whatever, it could be Qigong, I can teach you there, it could be yoga, I've got somebody else who can help you with that one, it could be meditation, whatever it is, or whatever combination it is, if you don't find your balance, you're going to have all these big up and down waves. And the whole point is when you can find that balance or as one of my seafoods would say is you know if you're in a boat and it's rocking up and down go and go and jump on a surfboard you know find something that you can manage the waves better and the whole idea is when you manage those waves when you learn how to balance so you know when you've got a lot of pressure doing qigong or doing meditation helps you slow things down fo focus do you know i do i tend to do 18 hour days a lot of the time of uh, i've done 18 hours of massage before and people go how you know how can you do that and then and then go and, and sit there and have, have drink mead and then and only have about two hours sleep and do it all over again it's just finding your balance it's learning yeah, how exactly. to adapt and, and tap in and it's learning how to be almost 15 look 20 years youngerish exactly. so exactly indeed. as christy's saying we're the cool kids now and you're right, not that it matters at all. No, no, no. Well, well, see, see, Christy, I love, I love this uh, saying. My, my nan, um, I'm adopted. I'm actually half Irish, half Russian, and but my my adopted parents were all Irish as well. And my nan would say, um, a broken clock. So if you think of the old school clocks, a broken clock is right twice a day. So I've always believed in that philosophy. So it's like I, I'll stay how I am, and sooner or later I'll be cool. Yeah. So, at least yeah. twice. <laughs> yeah, or maybe more than twice. Or, or you twice. never, you never know. You, you never know. Some people think I'm cool. I don't know why, but they think I'm cool. <laughs> maybe it's the lightsaber. You, you know. it, it, it could be. Yeah, you do like your lightsaber, don't you? I do like. Well, that goes to so. So the lightsaber is actually based on uh, the word Jedi means uh is at egyptian it means the jedi or the little d jedi uh means the pillar of light and the pillar of light so kundalini everybody hears about the kundalini now this is a tibetan kundalini flag hence why it's mm -hmm. a dragon not two serpents because in the east it's the dragon energy that coils from your spine up and that's the fire energy but if you have fire you know, and only fire, you'll keep, you know, you'll heat your house up, but you'll 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 be hot all the time. So you yeah. need water or light. And the and, and so the Jedi sits in the top of the head all the way down the spine. So this cools the body down and that heats the body up. And when you have both, you have balance, Tai Chi. You have also have what they call the steam, the mist. So it's the idea of you have both fire and water, mm. or you both have divine feminine the, the light the water divine masculine the fire and with the but with the two combined you have the balance so you have 
that that balance that you're seeking so so this is a metaphor most of the things i have are my little props are all metaphors for something um so, so the whole thing of um that's what Star Wars originally was based on, was Taoist and Buddhist pr uh, principles. Yeah, I've been mean, um, thinking about that. Yeah. Um, and, and, and and that's why, like, you know, so the, and, and uh, very clever of George Lucas to say, so a Jedi, a Jedi, which means the pillar of light, their lightsaber is a pillar of light. So they were the keepers of the pillar of light. And that, and the Jedi meant um, the keepers, the, the keepers of the knowledge, the, the ancient knowledge. And these Jedi in Egypt were actually Qigong practitioners. They did a their form of Egyptian Taoism, and and it, they had Qigong, and and in Taoism it's all about bad Taoism. Tao means the way, the path, the balance. Hence the name of my show, the way of conscious mindfulness, is the way is the is is the Tao. So the Tao is all about that balance, and it's seeking that balance. But balance balance isn't something that's set; it fluctuates. It moves, hence why, hence why Tai Chi symbol is like a wave. It's a oh, fluctuation. Yeah. So, so be, be, because you know things things change, and you have to then adapt again. The change, hence, like I said, in the boat. You know, when you're in the boat, you know you have to keep adjusting that boat or go on the surfboard to to adjust to, to adapt to the waves. Because otherwise, you're you're you know what most people's lives. You know, they have a real good day one day, and then it's a bad day the next, and then a good day again, and the bad day. And that takes a lot of energy. You know, no wonder, you know, we get to 60, 70, 80 when we're Palmer French, we're knackered. Because yeah. cause we spend all our life going up and down on these massive waves. And the whole point of Taoism, and say Tao is just a word, it's, you know, it's it's a philosophy more than a, a, a religion, but it's philosophy, the Latin word philo, which means love and knowledge. And and Taoism is that love of finding your balance, finding your internal balance. And it changes every single day, but you have the techniques to fight to to keep that those waves instead of being really big, you keep them like ripples. Yeah, and that's the point. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, no, yeah, that that, that makes that you know that makes absolute um, absolute sense. You know, and uh, Ria was uh, saying, uh, kids pretend to think I'm weird, but I know secretly they think I'm cool or dope, as they would say, and that which, which is true. A lot of young people are now and that's that's the beauty of it they're really sort of like into um a, a, lot, a lot of the stuff even if they might kind of be i'm um, not really but you you get them what you get with them one to one and it's amazing um the information that actually come they actually come with and that they actually want to know about well well because the cool thing is what's happening now is that it is the reverse effect is it is when well, when we were kids or when our grandparents were kids, you know, you would connect, you know, you, you know, like you talked to imaginary friends, which weren't imaginary. You did all this stuff. And then at some point, so an adult would say, oh, you've got to stop that now. You know, that's, you know, that that's childish. You know, you've got to put away childish toys. What's happening now is now, now from the 60s and 70s, where the spiritual, the, the, the spiritual was very high, but it wasn't connected in earth, you know. Yeah. The, 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 this whole thing of when, well, for me, Taoism is that yes, you know, you have to be able to be connect to spirit and connect to that energy, but you have to be rooted Getting at the same grounded. time. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't pay the bills, or you, or you know, you'll be off with the fairies and get run over by a truck, or or you know, or fall off a cliff. So you have to find that balance. But what's happening is, is that so those people, so now parents who are younger generations that were less told off about about the spirit and now they're now adults and they're telling their kids the less mm. of and the kids all the kids are seeing all this stuff and going no that makes sense that resonates that makes sense and so what's happening is is that the that controlling factor that used to exist is 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 eroding it's it's falling yeah. apart and so there are more kids and in the next the next couple of generations, you'll see more spiritual kids coming in with far more super abilities and far uh, because the the filters that were blocking them are now falling apart and now dissolving. Yeah, yeah, and and it is and it is a case of in, in, encouraging children. You know, mm. don't just give them tablets to suppress their natural energy, and you know, don't talk down to them, talk to them as equals um and uh but still give still give them boundaries because again it's that kind of thing 
they come in with all this lightness and everything and you have to remind them with the boundaries that they need to be grounded so they're not up there all the all the time yeah well the, yeah there's an in, yeah there's an interesting thing on that um i i grew up like um so so i grew up firstly in acting as a kid i was very much fascinated with that acting and i about 12 i got into martial arts um and about 15 i started doing I, I, ice hockey and ice well ice skating was my biggest thing and ice skating i've always said of oh, about that ice skating um is a real, very self-reflective thing because because if you're if you're nervous of the ice you're, you you get all stiff and then that makes it really hard for you to to skate and you're more likely to fall over when you fall over it hurts more but if you react, but if you relax it, to, to skating, your skating is a little, lot more smoother. And if you do fall over when you're relaxed, it hurts less. And that's the same in life is that if you act in life like everything's going to bite you and be scared, it will actually more likely happen and yeah. things will actually hurt more. But when you start going, actually, no, nah, you know, sorry, it's all good. Um, and you react in a different way. And, and even though, uh, I've actually had people accuse me of being alcoholic before. There's actually a qigong called drunken qigong, where you actually act like you're drunk because the whole the physical thing of when you're drunk is like you know you you go to the e the edge of almost falling backwards, and then you yeah. you lift your foot up or you lift your hand and you counter back back. Now, so that's the physical. Now, the metaphysical is this: you always find you you always find your center, you always find your balance, and also the, this acting, this drunken qi, qi gong and drunken shell and kung fu, it actually increases your endorphins. That actually you do feel slightly drunk, but it actually makes you it fires your endorphins and makes you happier, and and you actually look younger and and all this other stuff as well. So. You know th this 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 whole point of is that when you actually start playing with stuff, which originally we were told, oh, as adults you have to be serious, and then we play with you know we're, we're playing different ways, but we you know we, we act all serious and then we get drunk and then act all childish again. It's like we don't yeah. need to get, you know, is that you if you actually just allowed yourself to play to begin with, the reason we. A lot of people have ended up needing, say, drug and alcohol. It's because we've restricted ourselves and so said you're not allowed to feel a certain way mm. without certain stimulations. But the reason, the whole point that these stimulations work is that there's receptors in your body that actually um, activate, allow them to happen. But those receptors are there. That means that you don't actually need drugs to to no. to feel uh, heightened, or you you don't need DMT to to like see visions in fact you actually your pineal gland excretes dmt the reason you dream is because your brain excretes dmt which is basically your dreams are you tripping and if you can meditate and you see visions that also shows that your pineal gland is active because it's excreting this dmt that's allowing you to see the vision and and, and see things clearly but the whole point is is that that means that you already had them you don't need external right. stuff you can actually do it in internally um and the and that's where like the ancient ones sort of talk about you know a tool you know um a, a tool is only only for starters you know so so you know even in the original reiki that they only use the symbols at the beginning you were meant to once you've got the energy the feeling of it you know you weren't meant to use the symbols but uh, you know certain people got hooked up on the symbols and 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 symbolism you know in you think of like um mcdonald's and coca-cola symbolism yeah. is everywhere that they're used um because they they tap us in to a certain thing and make us do a certain thing but the whole point you don't need them we've just got so used to relying on them that we think we we need them and and it's just you know like medicine like you know the pharmaceutical companies um, if you look, look at the ones that are really honest, they talk about maintaining illness. They don't maintain, they don't find you, they don't cure you. They want to maintain your illness because that's how they make money. And it's ultimately, it's all about money. So, you know, but you can go beyond that, you know, is that you can rely on that if you want to. And if you, that's the path you want to choose, that's your choice. But you can actually go far beyond that. You can help, you know, and I'm not saying if your legs fall, hanging off that you shouldn't go to a no. surgeon and get it get it uh, sewn on i'm oh, not saying that oh. yeah yeah uh, or, or i'm not not saying that if you 
feel that you need that that medicine not to take it mm. i think you should you know you should you should do but it's interesting how in china like in china for example um the ancient way uh, how the doctors worked is you paid your doctor five say let's say five pound or um, eight dollars ten dollars for those in america you paid your your doctor uh, uh eight dollars a month for being healthy as soon as you weren't healthy you stopped paying your doctor because he wasn't doing his job or her job and so that so the doctors were their goal was to maintain your health not maintain your illness which is what pharmaceutical companies do is that doctors were originally meant to maintain your health so they so you know if you thought if we flipped it on its head mm. we suddenly only played doctors for us being healthy especially in the uk it's a little bit different because we have national health but yeah. in america where you have to pay for medicine if you paid your doctor for being healthy oh then imagine that imagine how suddenly things would flip on its head that oh, oh I'm, I'm ill well I, I, I don't have to pay you this month or this year so you know it's you know and that's the point i think it's this we got to stop seeing how we got to stop talking about why things are broken and figure out how to fix them. Yeah. And, and and not relying on somebody else to fix them is that you, you know, like sometimes we're, we're meant to manage ourselves. We're meant to be self-managing. So it's finding sometimes is like one of the ideas I love in, in America where they've got these, um, the the urban gardens where you know there's yeah. plots of land and people just planted seeds and there's fruit and there and you can pick pick in and that's the point you know don't lie don't keep saying oh i've got to rely on government the government's got to do this the government's got to do that no we got to do it yeah we got to change it if we change it they'll have to change things it's like if you know, like, like I say, if, if, if a company um, stopped, if you loved Smarties, but they stopped doing red Smarties, if everybody stopped buying Smarties and saying, we want red Smarties, they'll soon bring red Smarties back. They did that with the blue ones, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. They and, 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 and and that's happened more than once. In in It's one of the big things that um, uh, the, the uh, marketing, media marketing talk was that if you don't appease people enough, they'll make a decision is you know an evolution in revolution and if people decide we're not having this you know who's got the you know we talk about the one percent and the 99 percent. 99 percent. that's where the power is yeah. but you're letting the one percent you're you're giving the power to the one percent you want to change that change it but hey what do i know <laughs> Yeah, and then people, yeah, and people can take can take that as well. But it does make absolute sense um, with it. And but but the thing is that I've noticed as well is that that is changing within businesses now. Uh, there's a lot more um, business that are, they're a lot more consciously aware um, of, of where they're going and how things are how things are going. You know, it's like with future life progression. You know, there are companies that are going, uh, CEOs who are going to the future and they're seeing that actually we need to be a little bit more spiritual. We need to be a little bit more community based. And that's what they're working towards because they know that's what's what's going to happen because that's what 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 we want, what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And and, and, and that's and that's the point. And, and and it's it's shows like this is because because people don't realize that that you know so so future life progression is you've heard of regression well future life is going forwards and the wonderful yeah. Anne Jersh that's how I think I met you was through yeah. through through Anne, through Anne Jersh who's been on the show she's yeah. even been a co on my show as well and and you know like you know seeing in, in, into the future and and you know oh oh I don't believe well you you might not believe in that but the military does. Us. Other yeah. organisations do, and like I say, that's why businesses are now changing because they're now seeing that. And and this whole point of time is actually, um, it, it's not a straight line; it's actually a circle. It can actually be manipulated, like like putty. Um, and that's uh, and and in actual fact, there's this there's now a speculation. The whole Mandela effects is where people are changing the timeline, and so uh, and and that. That in M theory, which is uh, what are the multiverse theories, that all these 
different realities where uh, uh, the, 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 the one where C3 Boggy still got a, a beard uh, all the way down the floor and long hair uh, uh, and, you know, exists all at the same time, that everything yeah. exists all, all at once. And the whole point is that there's this theory now, and the ancient Taoists talk about this, is that your consciousness can actually go from one reality to the next. So, so the reality stays the same, but you can jump from one to another, and and there's hence, you know, remote viewing, future, uh, uh, um, uh, future life uh, progression, um, qu uh, quantum leaping, um, you know, all these uh, sort of concepts and ideas that exist are these that you you can actually, you know, you are the creator of your own reality. You're far more powerful than you believe. Look at go and read Bruce Lipton. Go and read uh, Greg Braden. Go and read Joe. I always forget his name. Joe Depends, I think it is. And yeah. they they uh, talk about uh, one of my guys. If is it Joe Depends? Did I get his name right? I'm sure they they always remind me because um, I know I always forget. Um, and you know the, the whole point is these people that the myths are being proven. They they're showing the facts. They're showing that. We are far more powerful than we believe. Um, we have the ability to change stuff, like you're saying. Um, businesses are actually now going that way where they're actually using this technology, where originally it was only the, the top 100 and 500 yeah. index businesses. Now now it's becoming more common. And when that – it's a bit like – the whole thing in military that military is always about 50 to 100 years ahead of 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 uh, normal society and then eventually you know things creep in i had i had a friend who used to be in mi5 who back in the 80s had uh pinhead cameras you know so so uh, you know the, the size of a of well that's a that's a um uh, toothpick but yeah. but you know the size of a uh, the tiny size of a pinhead he had those cameras in in his remote control planes back in the 80s and he was oh yeah yeah give it another 20 years these will, these will be out but for now you know shh, don't tell anybody i got them um and it's and and he proved he was right you know back in the you know noughties they started to appear and and now that's happening with psychological technology or you know um, you know, e esoteric technology yeah. as well, that people are now, you know, that pro progression is now being used, you know, it's now becoming more co more coming, it's now being pushed forward. Good old Anne Josh. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and that's what we need. We need to realise that actually time is is um, malleable. You know, yeah. you, can, you can change things. It's not staying, your fate is not sealed. You know, you're not do. You know, um, the old saying of you know, life life's an arsed. I won't swear. Life's an arsed, uh, and 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 uh, then you die. Life's an itch, and then you marry one. Is that it? Is whatever you make it, but you exactly. just got to learn. You got to learn about the. For me, you got to learn. That's why there's a tai chi symbol there, and there's one on here, which which is the opposite way around on the other side. It's all about balance. You have. You know, when you learn how to. It's a computer game. When you learn how to play the computer, or you learn how to hack, learn the rules, you can then hack it. You can then, you know, manipulate it to, to your advantage. And that's the whole point is learning how to balance, you know, balance stuff. And then you can start playing to advantage rather than listening to other people, the, the 1% or whoever, and all your parents or, you know, your peers are saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. Is that, no, you can do anything you want is that you just how much you want it how much you're willing to put the effort in to do it what well, you know uh, at nine years old I, I used to say uh very profoundly of um you know you can do whatever you want in life as long as you're willing to pay the price whatever the price is you don't know what the price is until it happens but everything has a price if you're willing to pay that price you can have whatever you want. But then I learned that the price doesn't have to be a negative thing. But it, the, the biggest thing is, is about actually action, which is a masculine energy, you know, is doing stuff. But then when you're doing it, you have to listen, which is a feminine energy. You have to listen and you have to maintain it and you have to nurture those things because that, because, it can happen, but most things don't happen overnight. So you have to maintain them. You have to keep going. As Dory said from, was it Fish, not Fishical Wonder. Um, um, uh, yeah, I know. Um, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. swimming. Just keep swimming. And it's that maintaining is that you, you can have whatever you want. 
whether it's business, whether it's whether it's psychic abilities, what, whatever you want to learn, as long as you maintain it and keep doing it, and that's again the Taoist technique is this daily practice. Mm. Is that if you put um, a habit, physical habit, or any habit is formed by by about fifteen minutes of doing whatever it is for fifty for fifteen minutes every single day is for anything up to four to nine nine weeks so picking your nose brushing your hair um uh you know uh, um saluting the magpie they're all habits everything has habit habit for me so you want to learn a skill you do it as a habit do it 15 minutes every single day for so many weeks and it becomes a habit and that's the whole point of what we do in Taoism. it's about creating habits changing one thing with some for something else so you do, so you want to get fitter Start off a little bit of exercise every single day. Don't have to do, and in actual fact, there's case studies showing that 15, 15 minutes to 30 minutes um, exercise every single day is more beneficial um, and is less impactive on the body than doing two hours, three times a week. So when people go to the gym for two hours, two hours, three times a week, um, rather than if actually I've go to the gym or do a bit at home for 15 yeah. minutes every single day, 15 to half an hour, you'll actually in the long run, you'll be far more, you'll benefit far more um, than 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 doing it the, the old way. And, and that goes also with advanced learning techniques about learning something, practice 15 minutes every day. You want to new, learn a new language for, for 2020. OK, learn. One, I always, it's 365 days, isn't it? Or 365. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I, think, I think it's 65 next year. It's a leap year next year, isn't it? Right, right. So 366. So if you learn one word, one new word every single day, that's 366 uh, words. If you did 10 words every single day, or, or, or at least try, you know, try to get them, that's 3,660 uh, words, I think, near enough. Um, and that is the average of, of about a 15-year-old uh, in, in most c countries, the, the amount of uh, words that that person learns. So in a year, you try... you. But you know, give yourself the permission to to you know look at ten different words every single day, and just and just you know don't panic about it, and just learn you know just start to process them. You will over, but in a year you'll you'll learn at least the basics of a of a language, yeah. um, and that's a lot of advanced learning techniques. They talk about that, or you know, doing different things in different ways. It's knowing because the old regime said you get to. 30 let alone like 50 oh oh you know you're too old now you can't learn new stuff mm. our society says you must learn. if you want to in business if you want to keep afloat you keep <coughs> pardon me you keep learning new techniques if you do that in business why can't you do that in life for your yeah, own benefit exactly. you know if you if there's something you've always said you've wanted to do for the past 30 years stop saying it and do it even yeah. if it's one little bit you know it's, it, it's whatever it is you know, just start doing every single day, do one little bit to it, and that's the domino effect. You'll build it up over over nine weeks. That'll become a habit, and then it will be even easier to do it, and then you can do a bit more and a bit more. Yeah, and um, the door to the fish was, as Christy let us know, finding Nemo. See, I told, see, see, that's what I love about this community, our family. Is if you don't know something, just be honest, and somebody, and somebody will tell you. It's like, it, 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 you know, because that's another, you know, like people say, oh, oh, Poggy, you know so much. Is that, yeah, but I don't, I'm not a scholar. I, 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 I'm a, a philosopher is the Latin word philo, which means love of knowledge. So I love learning knowledge, but I'm not a scholar for, so I don't learn knowledge for knowledge sake. I learn knowledge because it helps me because everything you learn enhances everything else you do. And <clears throat> that's an old Eastern saying and an, uh, an old philosophical saying. So where, where like 20 years ago, people say, you know, I, I need like 17 different skills and people, oh, I'll jack of all trades. It's like, well, actually, when you originate, when you go to the original of that, of that uh, saying, it was a jack of all trades is master of one. Uh, because learning all those trades ultimately learns you um, to to be a master, you know, to learn to to balance them all. And in the samurai, 
and the Shaolin masters, that was their philosophy. That's why samurai, they learn calligraphy, the art of painting. Well, why did they learn how to how to paint and how to write? Because that actually improves their sword hand. Um, they learn the tea ceremony. Why do they learn tea ceremony? Because it's about patience. It's about learning about... Uh, uh, um, about respect and about the process of stuff. They learn bonsai. Again, why do they learn bonsai? Again, it's about learning about nature. It's learn, learning about that, you know, things take the time and, and putting that process in. So they learn all these other additional skills to uh, enhance their ultimate skill, which is a samurai. So everything you learn enhances everything else you do. So, you know, the whole point is if, you know, you get the opportunity to learn something and it even remotely interests you, do it because ultimately it will help you on the road to doing what you ultimately want to do even if you don't know what that is yet yeah Make, makes makes the um, ab, ab, absolute sense when 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 you sort of like put you know put it like put it like that so as you know i um, do um meditation angel cards etc so i always like um, as you know to ask my guests um, would you like me to do a meditation card reading or would you like to do something? Would you like to do something together? So the choice is entirely up to you what you would like us to do. Well, well, you do it and I'll blast it. So, okay. So. Okay. So, um, okay. So why don't we do a very short then uh, guided meditation to try and get some balance mm. as, as we've been, as we've been talking about as we've been talking about balance. So everyone who's watching, if you want to close your eyes and as you do so, take a deep breath in and on the out breath, just release everything that doesn't need to be here in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in and on the out breath, just allow yourself to totally relax. You're breathing in its natural state, relaxing you, allowing you to bring in any positive energy. And as you breathe in your natural state, think about relaxing. As you feel your head relax, your brow relax, your ears, your nose, your mouth your jaw, relaxation going down into your neck, your shoulders just relaxing further back like they've been massaged by warm sunshine as this relaxation moves further down your arms to your elbows, into your wrists and your hands and your fingers. And your whole body starts to relax as your chest muscles relax, your stomach muscles, your spine relaxing, your hips, your pelvis, your buttocks, your legs, your knees, going all the way down into your feet and your ankles. And you just feel and allow yourself to be totally relaxed willing to let energy that comes in to you and whilst you're in this relaxed state just see yourself as a beautiful set of scales set of scales of your own design and making and they can look see feel imagine any way you wish and just feel yourself as these scales and as you feel and your arms, your hands may be the scales. And as they are, you just allow them. Just make a note and see if one hand feels heavier than the other. Or whether they feel the same. And if one hand does feel heavier, just allow yourself to send light and love into that heaviness. And as that light and love goes into that heaviness, just find the hands of the scale, just move up so that you're totally balanced. And maybe even give a colour, maybe black in one, white in another. 
just allow the masculine and feminine to totally be in balance with each other as your hands move up into that perfect space of balance and you can check in any time you wish to see how balanced you are by using your hands just putting them out and you've taken a deep breath and if one just feels slightly heavier Notice where the bit's masculine or feminine and just send beautiful, unconditional love to it and watch it rise up to join the other so that both your hands, the scowls, are in balance with each other. And just allow your centre, yourself, that childlike energy of you to combine both of those masculine and feminine energies fully connecting you to source and the universe and fully connecting you to Gaia, being grounded but fully awake and aware, fully balanced with your masculine and feminine energy. And now just take a deep breath in and on the out breath just bring yourself back into your body, make sure you're fully back open your eyes and just remember the balance that you are balanced everything is balanced brilliant thank you i could really feel the energy coming in from that it was absolutely brilliant you know with my eyes closed and that the energy was just sort of like whoa this is cool yeah, that, that, and that's one of the things, um, you know, on uh, in the uh, the Chi uh, the so uh, the Chi Kuan uh, University or the Shindao Qi Gong and Dragon Reiki University, uh, uh, which I have on Teachable. We yeah we teach because traditionally the Qi Gong and the Reiki are the same are part of the same thing. One is more yang, one is more yin, yeah. and the whole idea is is they're meant to be they're meant to be together. Um, when some some people that are practicing more qigong, they do qigong, but they still do the the the, the you know reiki style or shun qi shen in China, which means flowing energy spirit. And in and, but if you're doing the reiki, you still do the, the qigong. They're, they're meant to be together. Um, and the, so because people say, oh, you know, how, how come you're so how come I feel so much energy? Because I do qigong. Uh, <laughs> well, why is your qigong so good? Because I do shin qi shen or because I do reiki. They're part of the same thing. They're, you know, yeah. they're, they're different sides of the same coin. Yeah, and I think that's what some people forget when they go into the healing practice and everything is that they concentrate on one thing without thinking there are lots of other things that you need to bring in as well to be, to have that balance. Well, well, the you know, the big, like I say, the big thing of balance, and, and I think people would, sort of thing oh you know uh, um the wouldn't necessarily like this is that you are your own you're meant to be your own healer you don't go to a healer to be healed you go to a healer for them to give you a spiritual slap for you to yeah. wake up so you can then heal yourself you're actually meant to heal yourself yeah. and that's not just healers doctors as well you're meant to actually heal yourself you know the whole the thing of the placebo effect and the nocebo effect actually you know shows that and the medical profession especially the pharmaceutical companies don't want people to know how powerful the placebo is because they can't sell it they they, they can't market it they can't and this this whole thing of you know if they could market energy healing they would ha ha have done already, they, they, and they'd be selling it to us, but they can't. And that's why they try to poo-poo it or try to dismiss yeah. it, because it, it's it, their their focus is um, it, is making money, and, and, and because they're a business, ultimately, they're, they're, you know, they're a business, and that's the biggest thing is that we're actually meant to heal yourself. So even lots of people, oh, oh, you were healing me? No, 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 no. All I'm doing is press reset. You're healing yourself. Yeah. And that's the, that's what Reiki is actually meant to be. It's not meant to be a healing system. It's an awakening system. Qigong is the same thing. Qigong, eventually, everything becomes Qigong. So uh, Qigong means energizing exercise. So anything you do that generates more energy 
than than uh, than you started with. So what we have sea, seafoods who do ironing and it's a qigong, who do mowing the, mowing the lawn and it's a qigong, that you go and run and it's a qigong. And, and it's just learning the principles behind how you make that happen. That's what I teach more is how to, to get you to understand actually everything you do can be, it's supposed to be a qigong. You're meant to be, medical profession knows we're meant to live minimum of 150 years mm. before we get old. And that was a conservative uh, um, uh, estimate because they were too afraid that the medical, the true answer was actually 500 years, they reckon, that we're meant to live. We're physically meant to live. There's medical evidence showing that, that our DNA is me we're meant to fight for 500. Why don't we? Fear, um, stress, p uh, panic, the, the fact that we're focusing all on the wrong stuff. We're focusing on this neg negative stuff. We gave up our imagination. We stopped, we stopped playing. We stopped balancing the, the, the masculine and the, the feminine. So, you know, and as this energy comes in, if you're not balanced, you'll become more not balanced. If you're dark, you'll get darker. If you're light, you'll get lighter. If you're confused, you get more confused. And if you're crazy, you'll get more crazy. So which one do you want? What do you want? Yeah, exactly. And I'm just sitting here shuffling my cards because I kind of been guided that I think we need to pull a card. Go for um, it. And that. So, um, so yeah, so I've been just shuffling whilst uh, I should have been talking just to see what card wants to actually come out to us which is absolutely apt. I just love the way the cards. Mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. So there you go, you're your own healer. See? But hey, has any good Darish you say, what do I know? <laughs> exactly. Well, the angels know and they totally agree with you. So Indeed. Indeed. And so, I, I, I think I think that's the biggest thing is yeah, next year. You what what what's balance? Well, you figure out what balance is for you. But one of the most important things is you you can heal yourself. You know, I'm not and again, I'm not saying if your arm's falling off, don't go and see don't don't you know it, go and see. But 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 always remember especially with medicine doctors ask you they say or they suggest you should take this they don't say you have to take this no well sometimes they do sometimes you get some of them but they should actually suggest stuff yeah because it's up to you at the end of the day what you actually uh, take you taking your body because if it doesn't work for you you they don't want to tell you to take it because then you could sue them for harming them that's why they make suggestions rather than make commands and that's the one thing you have to uh, you know understand and i'm not saying do or don't take medicine but but Remember, it's actually down to you. It's your choice. It's so that you, that you have an illness or cancer, and there's that we suggest you do this. We suggest you have kids. You should really do. This. We can't tell you to do this, but right. we should. But know that that you should go. You know, be your own seafood, and that means be your own guide, be your own muse. Go and look at other stuff. Don't always take the first answer. Yeah. But, hey, what do I know? Yeah, yeah. What do you, what do any of us know? What do any of us know? Uh, I know what I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I know what I know. And the angels know what they know. And everyone knows what they know. Mm. They just sometimes don't have the confidence to accept that they know that they know. I, I think, you know, that's the thing of, of again, where's the hammer? Um, that's the thing of, of ego and intuition. Um, both, both of these are seafoods. You know, e ego, people say, oh, you've got to destroy the ego. You can't destroy the ego. It's you. Everything is you. The You know, think of the cartoons of, like, Porky Pig and you have the devil and the, and the angel. They're both, yeah. but they're both Porky Pig because the ego is part of you. But the ego, the ego is like Mr. Opposite Person. Is that if it's saying, "Oh, don't do this," you know, uh, you know, oh, oh, you know, don't go and go for a jog, or don't go and do qigong. Sit here and watch more TV. Maybe you should do the opposite. The yeah. intuition 
you need to shut up and you need to be quiet to hear the intuition. Hence why we meditate. Hence why, you know, when you, you know, when you go out and, and, and look at a beautiful sunset or, you, you know, you go and you get ideas, you get inspirations. Mm. That's because you have to be quiet for intuition to be heard. And But they're both your seafoods. Everything and everything that's happened to you, all the traumatic things that's happened to you in your life are actually seafoods. They're actually part of your life. And the whole point of when, you know, we sort of go through stuff and we start, you know, um, go about, oh, I'm forgetting that blooming word, um, of um, uh, going through the darkness in, in, in your life. Uh, and, um, you know, the whole point is when you start looking at all the good and bad things, it's just, it's those it's yeah. those circles that that the, so those low things happen and you learn from it or you learn, you know you've got the strength to move on uh because you were pushed in that corner you know i was bullied as a kid um and you know i you know i had dyslexia and dyspraxia but through qigong i learned how to channel them and how to use them i my teachers taught me that dyslexia and dyspraxia are actually tools that are used just like being an empath and just like being because you know lots of people out there are empaths and they struggle they hate it because you know they can't uh control it but you learn to flow with it it's like you know it's like water you have to learn stop fighting with the current and learn to swim or learn to go with the flow and it will do what it needs to do and it's about learning to channel your energies but hey that's only good see for you to show yeah, and uh, Ago, our, um, she sort of like agrees. She says yes, um, I, totally with that. So, Sifu, um, if anyone wants to um, connect with you, and that, what is the best way of, of them them doing that? You know, if they if they want another way um, to go down the um, Qigong route or um, that for for two thousand and twenty, how how would they get in touch with you? Right, so um, the you can either look me up on Facebook uh, as Paul Boggy Brighton. I am also on YouTube as Sifu Boggy. My show is the Way of Conscious Mindfulness Network, which is now. You can always contact us through there. Um, also, you can simply go www.sifuboggy.com and you will find uh, me on there. At this moment in time, there's a couple of things going on. We've got the Twist the Waist Challenge, which is very simple Qigong. Yeah, I, I did start doing that, but I, I did must admit, I did fall by the wayside um, because I've, I've got issues with my shoulder and they started hurting. So Right, um, okay. So, no, I, I, think I did attempt it. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but it, it's the whole point, right? So, what, you know, did you just try to swaying from side to side? You know, because the whole thing of if you do too much, so you, so you I turn think, it down. I think, I think that's what what my what my problem is, and that's what my physio keeps telling me with with the exercise he he gives me. You know, stop doing it too hard. And mm. that's when it or, or maybe, maybe are you, do you like swimming? No. no. Uh, see, see, so you could swimming self support, so you could actually do it in the water, and it would be it would it wouldn't actually hurt hurt as much. Yeah. Or even or even doing it in the bath if you if you're a bath person, you know, just turn and just just turn from side to side, do it like that. And because the whole point of so so the the, the thing with your shoulder is that baths would actually be good for you because baths make the body go red. Um, that means improved first circulation. That means increase in blood flow, which means increase uh, in the body's self healing. Healing. Um, so, and and the whole point is, is that you with with that increase in healing, and the whole point of the twist of waste is with the increase in blood flow, it actually repairs the body quicker. So it's a, it's the whole point of just finding that the exercise doesn't work, but there's always others. That's the whole yeah. point. There's loads of qigong. So there's you know is is, is you know you got a bad back, we have got qigong for that. You got got a headache. We've got Qigong for that. You want to improve your backhand in tennis? We've got Qigong for that. There's a Qigong for everything. So, yeah, at the moment, we're yeah, doing... Well, apart from the twist challenge, what else have you got going on? So, um, well, in it does slightly, still slightly twist, but there's also hula hoop um, in January. It turns into the twist the hula challenge. Um, and the, the whole idea is, is this whole thing of... Well, we set it as a nice big task because a challenge is meant to be challenging. So we say 500 twists. But if you could do 
10, if you do 30 seconds every single day in Los Angeles, just do it loosely, that will improve the blood flow in that shoulder and that will help. But for you, hand boggy bean, I, I, I could never, you know, I'm a, I'm a seafood, I have to help. So, <laughs> um, so hands on hips, so yeah. hands on hips, and then imagine you've got a paintbrush coming out your shoulder mm -hmm. and circle your shoulders. Yeah. So do so do that if you can do 20 one way then 20 the other and do that and that's your challenge do that every single day and and when 20 becomes easy add another cu a couple but that will then because 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 the, the the whole point you've torn if you torn the ligament in the shoulder the uh, it is um ten, it's tendonitis tendonitis uh, okay yeah. So, so the whole point is that that's called roll shoulder. So if you roll the shoulder, that will latch it, and then you do twist the waist, you'll actually find that will hurt less because mm -hmm. that is actually increasing the blood circulation. So, And that's the whole point of a Sifu. Sifu has all these ex exercises in their heads and goes, okay, that doesn't work. Do this one. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so that's going on. So at the moment, there's that's the free side in doing the free Qigongs. Um, at the university, um, we, uh, at the moment... We're doing uh, buy one month, get one month free. So it is $95 uh, for the month. That $95 you get every week. There are five videos of five exercises that you learn. Um, you get the uh, teachable course. So the teachable is like a university. So you, if you want to learn it to eventually be a seafood yourself, you you, do, you have it as a set course and you learn all the individual things as well as there's a natural group where we interact and you have people you can interact with as well as there's also uh, a weekly uh, open lesson class with me so you can have an open lesson with me also you can also have um you can message me text me anytime you got a question um i, I answer it and that's all for 95 dollars which is about UK, that's about 70, I think it's about 78 quid at the moment. -ish. Yeah. Um, and 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 as I say, and it's an ongoing course. So if if you would just do a month, you just do a month. If you want to do 100 years, you do 100 years. I've got 37 years, and by the time we get to 37 years, I'll have another 20 years of information in there probably. Okay. Um, so so it goes, but the whole point of, of it is that it's an ongoing course and you do it as long as you need to. And there's the Qigong side, and of course there's the Reiki side as well, and there's you also get a chance to have energy healing as well. So that's the $95. And at the moment, you can either buy it for yourself and give it a month to a friend for free, or you get the first month you pay for, and the next month is free, so you get two months of the price of one. Um, and that's called cool. that is the Chi Queen, that is the, the, the major one. And let's say you have all these other things in it as well. Then we also have, uh, for $44 a month, you get it's called a cup of chi. And the cup of chi is one qigong every single week, so you can learn a new exercise. So each exercise has different qualities. It can help the, the back. It can help help uh, blood circulation, help headaches. It can help uh, pain, uh, chronic pain fatigue. Each Qigong has different qualities. Um, and each week you'll get a new Qigong. And that's for $44 a month. And then finally, there's Lunar Chi. And Lunar Chi is $2. And for $2, you get one new Qigong every single month. So whether whether your budget can only afford two dollars or you can afford ninety five dollars, there is a level there for because my goal is to help you um, as much as 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 po po possible. So the whole idea is that you know we have these different levels to help mm. people and they grow and progress on that. Yeah, yeah no, that's, and that's, breathe. That's, that's pretty cool, you know. Two two dollars a month by the end of the year, you've got twelve different exercises. Yep. Yeah, and, and 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 that's yeah, and, and the whole point is you're actually doing you're doing your own version of the challenge because the whole idea of the challenge is you put you do it every single day, doing the minimum. You know, we're in psychology and we're in Taoist philosophy. They say fifteen minutes every single day builds up a habit. You you build up your habit of doing qigong. Those qigongs, um, and the whole point of qigong, I've actually had people in the past 
who have had uh, 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 chronic pain and chronic fatigue for years. We're having epileptic fits constantly, facial twitches all the time. Within a, a couple of months of doing Qigong, a lot of that had ceased. So I've had people who've had headaches for years, um, doing a couple uh, couple of weeks of Qigong. They, they were reduced down. I've had people, my oldest student was 96 years old and and he lived until 106 and he apparently he always said that it was the Qigong that he thought that actually made him, you know, brought him alive. Yeah. And and the whole point is, the biggest thing of this stuff, it's not a golden tablet. You can't do it once and expect miracles. You have to do it every single day, but it's like everything. The more you practice, the more you grow, the more you grow, the more you flow. But as any good Dower should say, hey, what do I know? Oh, that's brilliant. So, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the show and found it insightful. And the words of wisdom Sipu has given you will help you further on your journey. And again, I would like to thank you all so much for watching and for joining in with the conversation. Um, you know, it's, it's brilliant to see your comments, your likes, your loves, and to actually have you interacting with us. Um, it, it, mean, it means an awful lot. Um, and if you want to, you know, please do feel free to share this um, video out to others who may benefit from the wisdom and advice that CPU has given you. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life um, and need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, and I would love to be that guide for you. So reach out to and connect with me and we can arrange a free, 30, a free 20 to 30 minute video call where we can have a chat and um, see how I can help you take charge of your destiny. And I look forward to you all joining me next Monday, the 30th of December at 8 p.m. And Sifu, again, thank you so much for coming back on my show. It's I always love it when you're on my on my show because it just goes. Mm, yeah, well, I, I can talk the hind legs off a donkey and persuade it to go for a walk afterwards. I, <laughs> I, I do know this as as a fact, um, and 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 vice versa. We'll have to. We we will. Have, have you booked a date yet? For my show? A date? Yes, I think I'm on your show in February. I think we booked it for, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah. So well, that, that's a that that's the thing with, uh, with me. I, I think February's almost full now. I'll be booking for March soon. Uh, but you know, it's, it's it's the whole yeah, you know, the whole thing of you know, we should you know go on each other's shows and exactly. and 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 share our truths because nobody's wrong. Um, we're all you know, we all have our own rights. That's the whole point. And and exactly. different people it, resonate with different people that that you have, which is how it should be because you can't have everyone resonating with the same person. You know, everyone needs to resonate with different people. That's how it goes. Yeah, and, and what that's a, that's exactly what it's meant to be. The old paradigm of oh, you know, there's only one way is was never right anyway. Um, and you know, there's, there's so many different ways to, and it's it's about finding your own balance. You know, and like I say, my you know, well, I have the the challenge qigongs, uh, uh, um, you know, for December and January. But my challenge for you out there is find your balance. Find your balance for. Your, your 2020 balance, that would be different from your 2019 and your 2021, but find your balance for net, find your flow, find your balance. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And um, Kathy, it's a great show. Thank you both. Thank you, Kathy, for um, for watching. And again, every, again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a brilliant um, Christmas or Yule or happy holiday, whatever you you, you want and if you have and if you if you're going to be working then i hope it's um you know uh it's an easy it's an easy work for you and that so again thank you seafood thank you everyone for watching and i will see you all again next week bye <laughs>